Hello, peoples. Today I am talking about Superman and Lois, season number two, episode 11, Truth and Consequences here. And a lot of things are going down here. We got the other Jonathan from the other world comes down here to pretty much to, to exhort himself, become one with the, um, with the Jonathan of, of, of this world and become more powerful. And you have him fighting against his brother and then winning and then losing to his brother at the same time as well, too, which I had no idea how that happened. Okay. And then, and then you also have, um, Clark finally revealing himself to Nala, letting him know what's going on instead of putting, instead of putting his secret but above everything else as, as well, too. Cause things though, his secret is pretty much hurting them a lot of times, which could have solved a lot of problems if people just knew the truth. He don't gotta tell everybody, but those people who, who he's close to. That was, they saved a whole lot of problems and a lot of things going on. Heck, it probably wouldn't even help the relationship between, um, 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 Jordan and, and Sarah, even though I think that, I think, even though I think they, they don't belong together at all. Because you got Jordan over here whining over the fact that he broke up with his, his girlfriend, broke up with him, and then trying to get back with her in this episode while she's looking for her mom. Her mom has gone missing. She has no idea where she's at. She's thinking the worst. She's thinking the worst. He, he, all he's thinking about is, but what about us though? I mean, just, what? Really, man? Really? The one that she broke up with you. The one she cheated on you. Like, like, wow, really? This is what you think? This is, this, this is your, I mean, I get it. This is your first girlfriend. This is the first time you had your fault anything towards anybody at all. But come on now. Her mom has gone missing. You ain't part of the problem. Right? You, you bring up the relationship between y'all two. Ain't it? Wrong time. Read the room, man. What is wrong with you? I still understand how, how, how combining with your other self makes you more powerful, even when you don't have powers in either world. Like that, like that woman, um, who, the, the cult lady, who's like, doesn't have powers in her world, goes to a, a, the bizarre world and then merges with herself and then gets powers? How does that work? I mean, I mean, I could kind of get it with Jonathan a little bit too. He does have, he does have powers. And even though he doesn't have powers in the other world, he is the son of Superman. So it might help him. It might balance him out. Like he might, he, he might be able to, to absorb both red, radiation radiation and solar radiation. Maybe, I guess. I, I'm going to be I'm a little confused on. Also, I'm still confused on the whole fight between, um, um, Jordan and Jonathan, the Jonathan from the other world, and because Jordan was getting his butt whooped badly, really bad, and all of a sudden he wasn't. Like this. Now they already established that Jonathan gets weaker under the yellow sun. Okay, that's true. But from the but when the fight started, he was winning and he was just beating the crap out of him. So when did he get the energy to come back? I mean. I mean, I know the solar radiation fuels them, but it's not as fast as his father. They, they established that too. So, how did he win that fight? I I don't know. But overall, even though it has some weird parts in here, I don't under, quite understand. I did enjoy the episode. It just takes some turns that that, that doesn't make no sense to me.